In this video, I'm going to smooth the skin of Billie Eilish and put makeup on Billie Eilish. Here you can see the before and after image of an example. Here is another before and after image that I've created where I've smoothed the skin of the model and then added some makeup. You can even see that the shadow on the side of the face remains even with the effect applied. This is a plugin that is available to you today and you can find that plugin in a link in the description. It is available for Final Cut Pro X users and you can start using this plugin today. The way this is done is we track the face of a subject. The Final Cut Pro X plugin that we're using easily tracks the motion of the face and also detects different parts and elements of the face including eyes, nose, lips and skin. Once this has been applied and the mesh has detected the movement of the face, this is when you can start applying effects and makeup. For example, you can apply eyeshadow, eyebrows, eyeliner, lips, lip gloss and more. These elements can be applied in different ways so that you can have the desired look that you want, maybe on your own face if you're doing this for a vlog. You can add lipstick that wasn't there beforehand, makeup, blusher and more. When you're doing this you can change colours, so if you want to change the colour of your eyeshadow, the shape of the eyeshadow, if you want the eyeshadow to be this panda looking effect and you want to fill the entire eyes, you can do that. And here is an example of the effect being applied. Now we're going to have a look at Billie Eilish and I'm going to show you an example of what I did when I applied this effect to Billie Eilish. Now, Billie Eilish, the reason why we have chosen her is because she was very open and honest about her skin improvements. So I wouldn't pick a celebrity that had, you know, issues with the way they look because it would be cool. So I decided to pick Billie Eilish because she was very open in her Vanity Fair interview about her skin improvements and imperfections previously. So which is the reason why we've chosen Billie Eilish. You can see here that I'm now going to start detecting faces. Once the face has been detected, a square box will be applied to the face. Select this and then you can see the elements of the face on the right hand side and this is where you apply and track your mesh. Easily press the back button to track away from where you have selected to the left or apply the forward button to track forward to the right of the image which is playing through the image. When you do this, you want to make sure that the place you have originally selected has the clearest image of the face. So before you track backwards or forwards, find the clearest image of the subject's face before you start detecting the eyes, nose, mouth and so on. Each of these little dots down below are the keyframes that have been created. Keyframes basically highlighting the movement that is being tracked and those little dots are highlighting the movements that are being tracked and the differences that need to be applied to the makeup or the skin smoothing that you're seeing here now. Because Billy was a teenager during this interview, you can clearly see that she had a breakout. This is the part of the face that we're trying to sort of smooth with this effect and you can see that I'm applying a skin smoothener now and I'm dragging and toggling the effect to see what it does to the face in order to smoothen out the breakout that Billy has had on her skin here. You can already see an improvement to the rest of her skin as it is selecting most of the skin of her face which is showing on camera. If you're showing other parts of flesh, uh, you might want to consider lighting when you're doing this. If you want to go for a, a extreme professional look on the effect, you want to make sure that the lighting of the face matches the scene. So you can actually change the lighting and face brightness. There are quite a lot of options in terms of different makeup effects that you can apply. These effects that I'm toggling here are what are above and apply to mainly the skin area. You can also do really cool things like whiten the shade of your teeth, brighten your eyes and a lot more using this plugin. You can turn off and on different effects. For example, if you don't want any eyeshadow, you can turn that off completely. If you don't want any lipstick or lip gloss applied, you can completely turn that off. 
And that is how we applied makeup to Billie Eilish. You can use this plugin for yourself today. If you're a Final Cut Pro X user, you can download it and use it. It is available at Pixel Film Studios. Link down in the description below. Get started with it today. And I love to see what you're creating with this plugin. A shout out to subscriber Brooke De Rosa, who actually requested this video. She was looking for something to remove blemishes from video. So this is the plugin that's available at Pixel Film Studios today. You can find that in the description and to everyone else watching this video hope you're using this plugin and if you are let me know what you're creating and what you're doing with this plugin i'd love to see your projects with that said i'll see you in the next video here on the anthony allen channel